Welcome to a demo on how to create a network in the project builder. In our last session, we saw how to create WBSs. So now that our WBS have been created, we can go ahead to create our networks. So a network basically maps the flow of the project. The focus here is on describing, planning, controlling, scheduling, and analyzing costs as well as resources. So to create a network, we right click on the WBS under which we want to create the network. Then we go to create, and this time we select network. We are then presented with this interface in our work area. We then give the network a suitable description. In this case, we want to use a description initial requirement. When we are done, we hit enter. And we can see that certain fields have been highlighted in red. So this goes to mean that we would have to enter these fields before the system allows us to proceed. So we would have to identify a plant, select the plant. We then have to choose MRP controller. So in this case, we have the PS MRP controller. So I have to check through to ensure there are no other red highlighted fields. And then hit enter and we can see from our structure tree that our network has been created now we can see that the code has been generated so it starts with percent and then zero 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 to one so what happens is with a network through the configuration we set a number range for networks for particular projects. So the system automatically generates a code for the network based on the number range we have identified during configuration. So upon saving the project, this code will change to the appropriate code as identified during configuration. Okay. Now we also want to create a network for user test. So we go through the same process. We place our case on user test. We right click, go to create, then we create network. We provide a description for the network. In this case, we shall use same user test. And then we identify the plants as well as the MRP controller. We hit enter and we can see that our network has been created. After this, we save the project. So when we come into the project again, and then go to 
the networks we've created, we can now see that the code has changed to the appropriate ones as identified during customization. All right, so this brings us to the end of creating a network. See you in our next session.